Welcome back to TV Recaps, today I will be recapping a psychological thriller. The show follows a couple in mourning after an unspeakable tragedy creates a rift in their marriage and opens the door for a mysterious and sinister girl to enter their home. Before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for our channel. Please sit tight and enjoy the recap of the show, Servant. Oh, and of course, spoilers ahead. The story begins with a rich couple, Dorothy and Sean Turner, hiring a stay-in housekeeper, Leanne Grayson, to take care of their son, Jericho. Leanne arrives on a rainy day and is treated to the Turner's hospitality. After dinner, Leanne settles into her room. Sean enters Jericho's room and starts pretending to care for a baby doll, like a crazy person. Dorothy leaves her fake baby in the care of Leanne as she leaves for work. Sean explains the origin of the fake baby to Leanne and how it is used to overcome the trauma of her dead baby. Leanne treats the doll like a real baby which puzzles Sean. Dorothy's brother, Julian arrives at the Turner house to see Leanne. They lament about how this transitory object therapy is not working and Dorothy is not showing any signs of recovery. In the morning, after Leanne leaves to get some medicine for Dorothy, Sean hears baby noises coming from the baby monitor. He goes upstairs and finds a real baby in the crib and is in complete disbelief. Dorothy enters Jericho's room and acts as if the baby was there all the time much to the confusion of Sean. Sean confronts Leanne about the baby to which she responds that it is Jericho. In anger, Sean destroys the cross Leanne placed over Jericho's crib. While Sean receives a delivery of seafood he gets pierced in the foot by a splinter from the floor. Leanne notices that the cross has been removed from Jericho's room. Julian arrives and is in shock after discovering that a real baby lies in the crib instead of a baby doll. Julian promises Sean that he will look into the situation. Later, Sean gets pierced by another splinter, this time in his butt, which Dorothy helps to remove. Julian and Sean contemplate keeping the new baby, considering a future where Dorothy doesn't recover. During dinner, Sean notices that he has lost his sense of taste and begins coughing. In the bathroom, he pulls out a splinter from his throat. Dorothy opens the fridge and the light sends her into a catatonic state. She snaps back into reality after Sean tried talking to her. A new cross has been woven and used to replace the missing one in Jericho's room. Julian and the private detective he hired, Roscoe, are planning to drive to Wisconsin to investigate Leanne's past. Sean's assistant, Toby, arrives to help Sean prepare live eels for an important dinner and is introduced to Leanne. Julian contacts Sean via video call to show the Grayson's burnt house. A cross similar to the one Sean destroyed was also found in the burnt house. Leanne watches Dorothy give Sean a passionate kiss and a nice massage down under before they leave for dinner and this sparks her childlike curiosity. She puts on lipstick and starts having a drink with Toby. This ends abruptly when Julian arrives at the house and starts questioning Leanne on her actual motives. In response, she gets close to Julian and practices on him what she just learned from Dorothy. Julian looks uncomfortable and also confused. At this point, Dorothy and Sean arrive home, ending the feel-good session abruptly. Julian and Sean look over a finding by Roscoe that shows Leanne Grayson's tombstone. In a flashback scene, Dorothy wakes Sean up in bed and reveals that she is pregnant. Sean is elated from the news and they decide to name the baby Jericho. In the present, Sean becomes highly distrustful of Leanne and installs a secret security camera in her bedroom to spy on her, but definitely not for perverted reasons. Julian arrives at the Turner house with a bottle of wine that Sean can't taste. Sean theorizes that the baby is in fact Leanne's and she wants to raise the baby as the Turner's. Sean is enticed by the idea and wants to keep the baby. Sean turns on the TV and realizes that Leanne had taken Jericho to Dorothy's news broadcast and later confronts her about this. Sean reveals to Leanne that Dorothy has an overactive immune system which led to multiple miscarriages. Late at night, alone, Leanne turns on an old recording of Dorothy interviewing her many years ago when she was a little girl. The next day, Leanne takes Jericho out for a walk and Roscoe made use of this window to investigate the Turner house. Leanne returns home to find Toby preparing food in the basement. Toby was instructed by Sean to bring over a box of crickets and eats one live in front of her, yummy. Dorothy asks Leanne to buy some cake from a shop as a ploy to get her out of the house. She returns home to hear sex noises from Dorothy's bedroom and writes her name in her Bible as she has sinned. 
Next morning, Leanne comes home to find Roscoe scouring the house and hides from him. Leanne dresses Jericho in the onesie she found in the cellar. Sean freaks out and immediately takes it off Jericho. She overhears Julian and Sean discussing about how to get rid of Leanne. Angered, she writes Sean's name in her Bible. Leanne wakes in the morning to find crickets all over her bed. Another splinter is found, this time in Sean's neck. During mealtime, Leanne realizes that her favorite tomato soup has been replaced with dog food. She gets unreasonably angry. Sean injects a fried cricket with an ultra-sweet syrup to create a delicacy and asks Leanne to taste test for him since he has lost his sense of taste. She explains that having crickets in the house is usually a bad omen before eating it. Sean is deeply thankful of Leanne's help. A sense of guilt washes over Leanne. Leanne returns to her room and whips herself multiple times as punishment. Dorothy receives letters in the mail, one of them is for Leanne and has an ominous message saying, found you. Sean leaves for a flight to cook for the Philadelphia Eagles. The doorbell rings and Leanne opens it to find her uncle George. She allows him in and shows him Jericho at his request. Dorothy returns home to find George in her house and invites him for dinner, much to the dismay of Sean. At dinner, George eats his chicken in the most disturbing manner possible, wiped clean and squeezed dry with tablecloth. George reveals he needs to take Leanne home which Dorothy disagrees with. George agrees to stay for the night because of the bad weather. Dorothy pressures Leanne to go against his uncle's wishes and stay with them. During the night, they walk into Jericho's room to find Jericho on the floor and George curled up in his crib. The next morning, George gets ready to leave with Leanne but she decides to stay. George leaves but promises he will return with her Aunt May next time. Sean returns to find Dorothy has booked a baptism for Jericho. Leanne looks out the window and finds George standing across the street looking up at her. In a flashback scene, Dorothy is handed a baby doll by Natalie, her therapist, as part of the transitive object therapy to help Dorothy overcome the loss of her son. Back in the present, Dorothy continues her therapy sessions with Natalie. After hearing baby noises, Natalie tries to sneak a peek at Jericho in his crib. Leanne pulls her away from the crib, grabs the baby and runs into another room. Natalie explains to Sean that this has gone too far and Dorothy needs to be woken up. Dorothy invites Natalie to dinner to the surprise of Sean to thank her before letting her go. In the basement, Sean requests that Leanne keep the real baby a secret from Natalie. Sean prepares haggis for dinner and Leanne announces the table. In the garden, Natalie questions Julian on the origin of the baby and learns that they intend to keep a baby which is not theirs. Julian brings Natalie back home with him. Sean coaches Toby on how to prepare a dish before he takes Leanne on a bowling date. Dorothy and Sean are going to the annual television awards and leaves Julian to babysit Jericho for the night. Julian instructs Roscoe to follow Leanne. He notices the baby monitor giving off static so he goes up to investigate only to find out that Jericho has been replaced by a baby doll. He panics and calls Roscoe to check if Leanne has a baby with her. He calls Sean to tell him about the missing baby but Dorothy enters the call preventing him from doing so. Later that evening, Julian tries to ask Leanne where the real baby is but she doesn't respond. He threatens to drop the baby doll unless Leanne tells him where the real one is. When he nearly drops it, he hears a scream which he believes is coming from another part of the house and goes searching. After failing to find the real baby, in desperation, Julian confesses to her the truth on what happened to Jericho. When Sean and Dorothy return, the real baby is back in the crib and Sean is shocked to find out that Julian have told Leanne everything. In another flashback scene, Sean and Dorothy are seen moving into their new house. Sean is going to California to host a TV game show. A heat wave hits Philadelphia and Dorothy is struggling to take care of Jericho alone. Later, she arrives home from a shopping trip and leaves Jericho in the car alone in the blazing heat. She goes about her daily routine and only discovers her baby is missing when she checked the crib. In a daze, she finally takes him out the car and up to his crib. Later, she overhears someone else's baby crying and suddenly realizes what has happened to Jericho and begins shaking violently. Julian visits but no one receives him at the door, instead he enters the house through the back door to find meat covered with flies. He checks in on Jericho and finds the baby in the same state as the meat, infested with flies and dead. In the present, 
Sean tries to explain to Leanne that what happened to Jericho wasn't a crime and that it happens all the time. Sean carefully slices open a blowfish, lethal if not prepared correctly. While tasting the cooked blowfish for Sean, Leanne asks why he stayed with Dorothy after what she did to Jericho. Sean defends her by saying that everyone makes mistakes, even baby killing ones. While Dorothy was tending to Jericho, Leanne snatched the baby out of her hands citing that she didn't want Dorothy passing her bug on to him. Sean prepares Jericho's placenta to eat. Leanne hurries to get the Turner house ready for the after party following Jericho's baptism. During the party, she spots a young girl holding a doll which reminds her of the baby doll used for her therapy. While playing a video of the baptism, Julian spots George in the background alongside Dorothy's aunt, Mae Markham. Julian asks Roscoe to kill George but he refuses. Natalie approaches Leanne about Jericho and reiterates that Dorothy needs to be told the truth. Leanne goes upstairs to Jericho's room to find May with Jericho. May claims that Dorothy will hurt the baby again and Leanne must leave. Dorothy enters the room and meets May. She recognizes her but is unable to pinpoint where from. Meanwhile, George goes down to the cellar to meet Sean but refuses money offered to him by Sean. He explains it was easier to fake Leanne's death and then raise her somewhere else, and that Leanne had met Dorothy before as a young child. He tells Sean to ask God for permission to let Jericho stay. The police enter and interrupts the party, asking about a missing child which causes shock amongst the Turners. This turns out to be a false alarm and the police is actually looking for the small girl carrying the doll. Sean notices he cannot feel anything despite cutting his hand on the champagne bottle which he later confirms by holding his hand over a burning gas hob. Leanne whips herself again while George and May confront Roscoe who is keeping watch outside the house. Dorothy searches for an old news recording and finds out that Aunt May is actually the leader of the Church of the Lesser Saints, an illegal cult. Leanne leaves the Turner house to join George, May and other cultists from the Church of Lesser Saints. Dorothy rushes to Jericho's room to find a baby doll in his crib which leaves her horrified. End of season 1, please stay tuned for the next season recap. Please comment below on what you liked or disliked about our video, thank you for watching. Hope to see you again for our next TV recap.